Hello and welcome to the highlights of the Devizes to Westminster non-stop race 2018. Well, that's what it was supposed to be, but there's a problem. Relentless rain over the preceding days had taken its toll, and first thing Saturday morning, the race was in a phase of trying to establish what was going to be possible, if anything at all. Paddling the Thames at night had already been ruled out, it was too dangerous, and the cunning plan in play was to try and enable the majority of crews to stop at Reading on Saturday evening and then continue on at first light Sunday. There was also a second cunning plan, aimed at giving the fastest paddlers the opportunity to paddle a canal at night, hitting the Thames at daybreak and therefore carrying on non-stop. Given the conditions this year and the flow rate, the potential for someone to break the course record was very real, and at least one crew, Keith Moore and Tom Sharp, had broken cover and stated a name to do just that. Within a few hours though, all the cunning plans were out for the count. Even the tail end of the canal was now apparently getting rowdy, and the decision was taken to end the race at Reading on safety grounds. So DW 2018 was just going to be devises to Reading, or devises to Wokingham, as many were calling it, so that they could carry on referring to it as DW. But then there was my favourite, as coined by Team Precision Hydration, and that was Waterside E. With the race shortened and the still less than glorious weather, many crews, including favourites Moore and Sharp, opted to defer their entries until next year, and who can blame them for that? There wasn't going to be a new record set, but there were still lots of crews out there pushing for their own personal victory, and that's what makes the DW the institution that it is. Keen to tell whatever story was on offer, we started looking at departure windows, so we could mix with some of the earlier starters and still catch some of the fast crews along the way. Team Precision Hydration, who had been tipped by some as podium potential, were just about to leave, and they suggested that we might want to follow them down. So that's exactly what we did. Andy Blow and Johnny Ty might not have been top favourites for the win, but with this now effectively being a completely different race, anything was possible. But just outside Devizes, they were hit by a potentially disastrous technical problem. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> GoPro stop recording! GoPro stop recording! GoPro stop recording!
run alongside us for a bit. <laughs> One of the crews we kept bumping into along the way was Aaron Jordan and Leanne Brown, who'd adopted a very interesting portage technique. While Leanne tried her hand at Nordic walking, Aaron carried the boat. It looked like they were quite happy with the division of labour, and it was quite an effective technique. That's how you do that boy. Oh, they're not married yet. I'm all in the into equality. <laughs> It'll still be a turn later. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
So there you go. It wasn't the race that anyone wanted, but it was the race that was possible under the circumstances. And those who did take part seemed to have as good a time as the rain and the muddy towpaths would allow. One paddler in particular I think deserves special mention because his actions really define the spirit of DW. Dan Colby, recently crowned Young Coach of the Year by British Canoeing for his services to devise his canoe club, returned to Reading on Sunday morning with his mountain bike and continued the journey to Westminster from there, just so that he could legitimately say he'd gone the full distance and collect all the sponsorship money he was raising. Now that's how you deal with a race not going the way you want it to. 2018 will be remembered for lots of reasons, but for me, it'll be all about those crews who took the disappointment of not getting the full race on the chin, pressed the reset button, and gave the challenge they were presented with their best shot. Could there have been a different outcome? Possibly. Could the record have been broken? Who knows? Things are as they are. But next year is a different ball game, and mark my words, the record will be broken. Sometime. See you then.